Um, yes, hi. <laughs> the obvious. And uh, I'm just going to get straight into getting these orchids out. And at the end of the video, I will explain what happened. <laughs> I have in here a dendrobium. It's been a while since I ordered them, so I forget the name. And I think it will be mounted. And I got permission to put up the pictures from the nursery. This is from MSB Orchidin in Germany, a nursery I have never ever used before. So it'll be interesting to see what we've got, the quality of the orchids. I also have a little Rapiculus Lelia in here. Shock, horror, who knew? <laughs> but the communication with this nursery was amazing. Due to the very cold temperatures around Europe, they didn't arrive or weren't shipped at the time as expected, but that is so understandable. I was happy that they let me know and that I didn't have to chase them up and say, what is your plan? Because I don't care if you keep them longer, perfect, better for them. But I didn't have to, they were in constant communication. And I think that was just perfect, perfect, perfect. So I think this is possibly the Lelia. Lelia Briggery, Briggery, something like that. Gosh, I should have looked at the order before, before I even went to unpot. Oh, it's in a clay pot. Well, I'm going to uh, keep that gravel, that's for sure. That's awesome, I already have a little bit of gravel. Yeah, Bayensis, there we go. Awesome, very, oh, the orchid doesn't look awesome at all. I like these little clay pots, not that I use them, but I like the look of them. I'm not happy about this, what this looks like though. We'll take our time, get her out. Doesn't look too bad, she's super dry, to be expected. Perfect, better this way than soggy this time of year. So that little new growth there is maturing. I bet you that they had to keep her dry throughout this entire period, not knowing when they could ship or not. But that's not going to last long because we have our welcome cocktail. I do want to keep this because I want to get that gravel back into the pot. Let's get her in there. And this is now at 6.4 pH, 240 parts per million of which 160, which is my winter fertilizing strength, 160 parts per million is MSU fertilizer. I've added 40 of seaweed, and I think it was 26 or something around there of calcium magnesium. Normally I would just do calcium magnesium and seaweed, but seeing as I already had some MSU fertilizer in a bucket mixed up, I just added the CalMag. And this time I didn't go to 100 parts per million for the calcium magnesium because the MSU fertilizer has calcium and magnesium in it as well. So yeah, all these little thought processes. So let her then get situated and get some hydration going. I left the box in the hallway for a good day just so that the temperature matches my home before opening it. And this is a little dendrobium. Oh my goodness, also, oh wow. That's gonna need a lot of help. This is Peguanum. It is a miniature and it has super funky little bulbs. And it was trying to bloom. I will put up pictures I got the permission to use. Very, very small little dendrobium. 
that I bought mainly because of its size and that eventually it can live outside. Tiny little thing. So guess what? This is the time of year it should be blooming. I don't think these blooms are going to last a long time. <laughs> Poor little thing. But I figured, I thought this would happen. I thought this would be the case. So I'm going to have to do something about this hook. Otherwise, it's not going to fit into the container lying down flat in order for it to absorb. Yeah, Peguanum has been on my wish list together with the Helwigianum that I've always wanted. And I had ordered and then I got another orchid instead of that. So today is a warmish, breezy day, which is nice. These guys can go for a proper, proper soak. So what happened? How did this come about? <laughs> Orchids on a budget. Uh, yeah, well, that didn't work out very well, did it? Two factors came into play here. One was that I said to myself, I'm not buying any more orchids because there's no money for that at this time, at this, considering what's going on in the world and in my life. And then uh, I got a very good tip from Tropical Plants Finland that says, she watches unboxing videos and pretends that it's her unboxing. So her orchid fix is taken care of and there's no temptation to buy anything afterwards. And I thought, wow, that's great. That's, that's the reverse psychology and I could do that too. So I continued watching unboxing videos. It was working. It was. Maybe I was pushing my mentality a little bit too strong, too fast. Wasn't too cautious about it, but it worked. I watched quite a few unboxing videos and commented and there was no trigger. So then what happened? <laughs> Michael McCarthy and I were having a conversation on one of the videos and he talked about Dendrobium macarthyae. And honestly, I thought he was pulling my leg. <laughs> so I got the Google out and I saw Dendrobium macarthyae and I was like, are you kidding me? Then I Googled Dendrobium macarthyae for sale Europe. And I came upon the webpage of this MSB Orchideen in Germany, but it was sold out. Then what happened was the typical, you stay and you browse. And then I saw the one I had on my wish list for a while. And then I thought, oh, you know what? I'm gonna get them. So the psychology works from Tropical Plants Finland, but going onto an orchid nursery website does not work. That is what happened here. I have gotten to the point I can watch unboxing videos, but I have as yet to stay away from orchid nursery websites. Having said all that, I'm happy to have these two. I think I am now at maybe 16 for the Rapiculus Lelias. I have intentions of keeping her in this pot for the rest of the winter. The roots are greening up nicely, which is great. It's a good sign. I'm gonna gather all that gravel and put it back in. And I'm going to reuse this media when I potter up into my one of my little pots because I don't want the clay pots. I don't think they're as attractive. They're cute for other things, but not for my orchid collection. But the media is perfect. Small gravel, small lava rock. Yeah, that's good. That gives me hope. They'll be in here, bopping away, soaking away for another two or three hours, and then I'll take them out. Yeah, these are my two little newcomers, Lelia biensis and my Dendrobium peguanum. Let's see what we can do with this one. Thank you everybody very, very much for watching. I really appreciate it. Have yourselves a wonderful day. Take care, stay safe. Bye.